Pandora friends, my name is Leanne and I am mad for Pandora. Welcome back to another video. Today I would like to share a package that I got in the mail yesterday and I am so excited like you have no idea that this was actually up for sale and that it arrived without being damaged. Now backtrack a little bit to August 21 so that was what a year and a half ago or something not quite a year and a half I purchased these same charms off a seller who is usually pretty good but they weren't protected enough in the mail and they did arrive damaged so I was really devastated and I ended up having to send them back and get a refund but before I actually received the parcel, they also went missing as well. So they ended up getting delivered and when I couldn't find them outside anywhere because they weren't assigned for, I had to end up ringing, contacting Australia Post and they said that yes, they'd been delivered, but obviously if I didn't have them, then where were they? So. We end up tracking them down at the neighbor's house by getting a picture because Australia Post always takes photos to say they've left a parcel and it was the neighbor's bricks and not ours so we had to go over and get them from the neighbor's house and when I was walking back with them I could feel them jingling around in the packet and I'm like oh yeah that's not good. So I, I was very scared opening them and when I opened them they were all cracked and damaged and stuff. So basically when these came yesterday and even before they came when I was talking to the seller when they came up on for sale I asked her lots of questions. Have they got any chips? Are they in good condition? All that sort of stuff. She sent me lots of photos. She was an excellent seller and very patient with me because I had told her what happened. And this is not how she packaged it, obviously. I've put it all in one box, but she had it in two boxes. She had them securely wrapped so they couldn't move around the box and bubble wrapped it and everything. So I'm very pleased to announce that these have arrived without being damaged and I'm very excited to have them because these came out originally in August 2015 and that is my probably my favorite collection of all because that is when the um, fairy tale collection was released it's when I went to the road show with my daughter for Pandora and it was just a magical time and I did not buy these charms then and I didn't even necessarily know I wanted them then but they had some sort of I don't know problems with manufacturing them so they didn't last long before they discontinued them so I'm happy to announce that I finally got them and I'm very excited Ta -da! so for all the old collectors out there do you know what these are now these are not Murano's, these are actually made of crystal and they did bring out a blush pair as well. So I'll just pop them out of the box. And these are super fragile, so I will be putting this on something that hopefully I will not damage them. They are so, so beautiful. So these are called the Olive Green Faceted Crystal and they're originally $59. So hallmarks. And I will show you in my book I did have the page open. There we go. So hopefully. 
hopefully you can read that and get the code. There's also the blush ones as well. Now I ended up paying what was equivalent to 35 each. So $70 for the pair posted. Just gorgeous. So I thought I'd do a quick styling with these because so I'm not sure where their permanent home will be, but at least for now, I'm going to wear them on the open bangle. So I've just popped a little spacer on. And I've also got my beautiful Peridot birthday bloom. I'll pop that on. It's hard when you can't call them Muranos. There we go. really pretty I do like that now I am wearing the Peridot birthday bloom ring and I am wearing the spacer to match the spaces that I've used and I also have our Peridot pair of earrings and basically this surround for the earring is like an equivalent so I think that'll be a really nice set if I wear all that together very pretty so I can't wait to wear them so I might just pop this on my arm and show you One good thing about open bangles, they're pretty easy to get on and off. Very nice. So I think that'll be good home for now. It will depend on the weather whether I can fit this on like this, but until I come up with another idea, I think that's where they'll live. Anyway, until next time, take care.